The title of this poster is Ethnic Differences in Electronic Cigarette Marketing Exposure at Point of Sale and Its Effects on Behavior. So the retail advertisement of tobacco products is one of the main sources of uh, tobacco product advertisement exposure among youths and young adults. So it's very important to study um, what are the effects of uh, retail environment tobacco product advertisement on the, the tobacco product use behavior of young people. And in this study, we were particularly interested in looking at how different, you know, young adults of different ethnic groups in Hawaii are affected differently by point of sale exposure uh, to tobacco product marketing. Uh, so our study is a longitudinal study. It involves collecting data at four time points uh, over a period of two years from over 2,000 young adults uh, who are enrolled in four-year and two-year colleges on Oahu. So we collected data at baseline uh, from these participants and we followed them up every six months for uh, three more points of data collection. Uh, so we, what we looked at was we uh, collected information on their store visit patterns uh, on the island of Oahu, Oahu. and we uh, collected a list of up to five stores that each individual uh, visit, you know, visited most often. And then we sent our research assistants to those stores and asked them to audit uh, the tobacco product marketing practices of those stores. And based on that, we computed an index of how likely each individual was to being uh, exposed to uh, electronic cigarette marketing. And with that information, we conducted uh, a complex data analysis to look at over you know, uh, a two-year period, how did exposure to you know, uh, electronic cigarette marketing affected their e use behavior. And what we found was um, for Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander young adults and for Asian young adults, uh, compared with whites, the point of sale exposure to electronic cigarette marketing was uh, significantly higher. And higher point of sale exposure to electronic cigarette marketing was associated with a higher electronic cigarette use behavior over time. So that, that was an important finding. It basically showed that, uh, especially in the case of Native Hawaiian Pacific Islanders who are uh, more likely to be affected by tobacco-related diseases, uh, it showed that you know, uh, exposure to tobacco product marketing in the retail environment is uh, driving some of that, uh, might be driving some of, that, some of those disparities in uh, tobacco product use behavior as well as uh, disease outcomes associated with tobacco product use behavior. So the implication of this finding is that we really need to uh, start thinking about regulating uh, tobacco product marketing in the retail environment. So if you have any questions about this study, please feel free to contact me, ppokrell at cc.hawaii.edu. Thank you.